10, investigated reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. What the hell? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall, a map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? No. 
Oh no, no, God no, please, Michelle. Oh baby. Three years ago, everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. The pills would ease the pain. Jake's supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's a no.
security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. Right? Right. Damn! You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Frankly, I'm too scared to go to the control room on my own without you and your gun. The power to the rail had been cut. I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. We need to go and call help. Home free. This way. Damn. Look out! Ah! The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. being subtle.
The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator.
come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... <laughs> Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes.
Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint at a max. You're killing me. If you make that up yourselves, you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see it through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Vigilio, you all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. Ah! Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame.
Hold it. Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lord. Hold it, my lady. Ah. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. It's pain! There has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. My lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must. I must. My lord, no. I forbid you. This cannot be. This must not be. But why, my love? Why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you. I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord. You must be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. <laughs> Piece of crap! <laughs> oh, careful! It might kick back! Dee -dee 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 -dee. Kill a vending machine! You talking to me? <laughs> Tough guy. Scared. Whack! Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. The investigation had turned up nothing to link Angela Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it.
The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. Reed would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. 
less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay in the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bad Boy comic strip. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in L.A. or Mexico? They can't even get whack! A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. There was a key on the table. solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun.
the antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I could hear the Max Payne. He came, started capitalist. He killed him. Uh... Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. I don't know, man. I, I don't know about this. Quit holding!
The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. building was rigged with explosives. beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Take it easy. Someone had left a letter for the key on the shelf.
Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. <laughs> 